Good day everyone. Welcome back for another video. In the following video, I'm presenting a very common question time in math competitions. Basically, we are going to figure out how to use substitution and manipulation to solve complicated equations. Today's question is actually a follow-up to my earlier video using similar method, but this one is quite a good bit harder. I'll post a link for that earlier video in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Let's go ahead and get started. In this equation, we are given square root of x plus square root of x plus 15 plus 2 times square root of x square plus 15x is equal to 15 minus 2x. And obviously, we are going to solve for the value of x. When we look at this equation, the first thing we notice is that x plus 15 is a fairly common component on the left hand side. And also, we are going to move everything from the right hand side to the left. So, let's write everything down. Now, I have 2x plus square root of x plus square root of x plus 15 plus 2 square root of x multiplied by x plus 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. For the next step, let's break this 2x into two separate individual x's. And we are going to do some rearrangement on the equation. And this is what it looks like. So what I now have is x plus 2 square root of x multiplied by square root of x plus 15 plus x plus 15 plus square root of x plus square root of x plus 15 minus 15 minus 15 equals to 0. There are three different colors on this latest line of equation and let me go ahead and explain it. This x right here comes from one of the two axes. The same goes here. And everything else in black I have basically copied down from the line above. The other new thing that I have introduced is the red color 15. I'm introducing, the reason I introduce this will be clear later. But since I have a plus 15, I put a negative 15 in the end to balance out this equation. I hope this step is clear because it's crucial. For the next step, Let's focus on what is within the blue color bracket. We know a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And we also know the square root of x squared is equal to x. Let's apply what we have here into what is within the blue color bracket. I'm going to rewrite this as the square root of x squared and, and call this a squared and now I have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and that fits perfectly into what we have written down. If I tidy things up, now it looks like the square root of x plus square root of x plus 15 squared plus square root of x plus square root of x plus 15 minus 30 is equal to 0. And that's what our equation now looks like. To keep things simple, let's Go ahead and substitute a as square root of x plus square root of x plus 15. 
With this new substitution, our equation now looks like a squared plus a minus 30 equals to 0. This looks much, much simpler compared to what we originally have. So let's go ahead and solve the quadratic equation. I have a 6, negative 5, 6a minus 5a, a squared minus 30 plus a. So our e quadratic equation now becomes a plus 6, a negative 5 equals to 0. Let's go ahead and consider our first possible answer. a plus 6 equals to 0, a equals to negative 6. And this answer is going to be rejected. The reason because both square root of x and square root of x plus 15 is going to be greater or equal to 0. Let's work on our second possible answer. a minus 5 equals to 0. a will be equal to 5. So now I know square root of x plus square root of x plus 15 is equal to 5. Let's go ahead and solve for x. Square root of x is equal to 5 minus square root of x plus 15. We will take the square on both sides. So now what I have is x is equal to 25 minus 10 x plus 15 plus x plus 15. Cancel out x on both sides. Now what I have is 10 x plus 15 is equal to 40. And x plus 15 is equal to 4, meaning x plus 15 is equal to 16, x is equal to 1. We will try to substitute this value of x into our original equation to check for the answer. So what I have now is 1 plus the square root of 16 plus 2 multiplied by the square root of 16 is equal to 15 minus 2. This part right here will become 13 and this part right here will become 13 implying that x equal to 1 is the correct answer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Have a good day. God bless.